against supporting your fellow working class and demanding, not asking, or please, please can I have a house? Do you think I could have some food? It means demanding mutual solidarity and support and putting bold demands and ultimately, yes, it means taking the wealth that your labour has created and using it to solve the problems of working people in Britain and around the world. Ask yourself why you don't have a house. Ask yourself why you're struggling. Ask yourself why it's £9,000 for a working class person to send their kid each year to university. Ask yourself why those problems that you face and are grinding you down are there and only seem to get worse and your wages only seem to get lower and property prices only seem to go higher. Why is it that life is not designed to allow you to rest eight hours a day, sleep eight hours a day, work eight hours a day and have a meaningful existence and a meaningful say in the policy of your government? I'm not talking about an election every four or five years when you can get one lot of clowns in who do the same thing as the last lot of clowns while cussing the last lot of clowns and promoting a future lot of clowns. Our de the democratic system is an absolute farce. It is a dictatorship. You cannot vote out Richard Branson. You cannot think, vote out any large billionaire. And it is wealth that controls your labor, not these clowns. These pipers, the real billionaires in the pipers, and they call the tune of the government and they decide what policies go forward and what don't. They set the minimum wage at levels that mean you remain poor. London living wage, don't make me laugh. London living wage is a starvation wage. I'm a well-paid worker and I struggle. And I see my fellow workers struggle every day and I never see their story being told in our media and I never see their story being told in our news because it's a rigged system. And if you're standing in your work today, I invite you to walk out of your work and join us because today is International Workers' Day. Do you even know this? In 1889, a hundred and how many years ago? A hundred and thirty, forty years ago, workers struggled for things that they still have not achieved. This will continue to be relevant so longer as there are working people. So long as we're exploited and so long as we struggle to survive. So we are here to say there is another way and that way is socialism. Have a look at our flag. CPGB hyphen ML. Chant with me guys. CPGB 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 Have a look on the website. Look at our sub. Look at our Twitter feed. Look at our YouTube. We do all that. Come and look at our social media, become acquainted with what we actually say. Not this caricature that is painted of the socialist movement and fueled partly by some of the crazy trots you see marching around the streets. Come and have a look at what we say, come and get involved with what we do. We've got branches up and down the country. We're a working class organisation because we want to fundamentally correct only one injustice. Jesus is supposed to have said that the meek will inherit the earth in the year 30 AD. Well, we're here to say we can't wait any longer. We want the meek. We want the workers to stop being meek. Rise like lions then from slumber and in unvanquishable number. Shake to earth like dew. Chains that in sleep have fallen upon you. Ye are many and they are few. They are five. Five human beings. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is it penetrating your skull? Five people control you, control you all, control your work, control these buildings. The magnitude of their capital is vast, so vast they control the entire planet. They make the war, they make the goods, they make you buy them, they make you too poor to buy them, they create the economic crisis and they perpetuate war to try and keep their filthy system going. How many world wars do we have to fight before we put this blood-drenched system to bed? Before we do it to death? How many lives must be claimed? Two world wars! The first world war was an anti-imperialist world to divide the war. It claimed 40 million working class lives. The second world war was an inter-imperialist world to divide, to redivide the world. A fight between the biggest slave owners, the biggest colonialists. Who's going to have more slaves? Who's going to have more colonies? Who's going to have more raw materials to exploit? Who's going to have more profit? 
60 more million, 100 million in the last century from world war. And yet our government, Donald Trump fires 103 cruise missiles at a defenseless, at a defenseless, well, not defenseless, at a relatively defenseless, a relatively weak independent nation of Syria. And Theresa May can't wait to jump on board and send four more, there you go, four more cruise missiles. But why? Why are we trying to overthrow other people's democratically elected governments? Only to further the exploitation, the, the, the robbery of their wealth, the robbery of their resources. But we're here to say no more. We're here to say there is another way. That way remains socialism. So I invite you all to actually look at our website, look at our social media, see what we're actually saying, not the caricature of what we say. I invite you to look at that party flag at the front. Guys, chant with me, CPGP! CPGB! 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 Long live! 